For the first time, the Kremlin has provided military personnel with instructions on how to arrange and care for mass graves, which has become relevant in connection with Russia's significant losses in the war against Ukraine. According to The Telegraph, the 20-page manual titled Civil Defense Emergency Disposal of Bodies in Wartime contains diagrams of mass graves with images of body bags arranged in several layers. The document also provides tables with detailed calculations of the resources and personnel required to prepare a burial site for 100 people. Usually, burying 100 dead in one mass grave takes about 368.5 man-hours, the instructions state. The guide, which is an updated version of the 2021 document, shows a rescue worker in a protective suit next to a helicopter on its cover. Russian troops have suffered about 1,200 casualties a day this year as Moscow tries to take advantage of Ukraine's mobilization and arms supply problems. According to Western intelligence, Russia's losses from deaths and injuries could reach 680,000 people, although the only known use of mass graves for Russian soldiers was recorded in the occupied territories of Donbass. Experts attribute Russia's heavy losses to the infantry swarm tactics in which soldiers try to take Ukrainian positions using sheer numbers. Ukrainian Armed Forces Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Sirsky recently reported that Ukrainian forces are facing one of the most intense Russian offensives since the start of the war in February 2022. The Ukrainian Armed Forces are holding back one of the most powerful Russian attacks since the full-scale invasion, he said. Russian forces are seeking to seize strategic supply lines before the winter cold sets in. Up to 13,000 North Korean soldiers are expected to be deployed alongside Russian troops in the southern Kursk region after Ukrainian forces entered the region in August. There is growing concern among Ukraine's allies about the outcome of U.S. presidential elections. Republican nominee Donald Trump is skeptical of Ukraine's chances and could potentially cut military aid if he takes office.
Israel's emergency services said 11 people were injured before dawn Saturday in attack in the central town of Tira. Footage showed damage to what appeared to be an apartment building. Israel's military said three projectiles had crossed into Israel from Lebanon, some of which were intercepted. Hezbollah began firing rockets, drones and missiles from Lebanon into Israel in solidarity with Hamas immediately after the Hamas-led October 7, 2023, attack on Israel, which triggered the war in Gaza. The year-long cross-border fighting boiled over to full-blown war on October 1, when Israeli forces launched a ground invasion of southern Lebanon for the first time since 2006.